Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another figure review and of course this one right here would not be possible if it wasn't for those awesome people over at Hobby Link Japan. So if you want yourself one of these then make sure to check out that link down there in the description below. Now let's get to this. So of course what I'm looking at today is this right here and this is the Bandai Tamashii Nation's Satoshi as it says here or as you and I would know him Ash from Pokemon. And of course, this is from Pokemon the Movie 20, I Choose You, and as far as I know, the whole movie is just a retelling of the beginning of the series. So let's take a quick look around the box before busting this thing out, and on the front there you can see right into Ash himself as well as Pikachu, you can see into some of the extra parts there as well, not so much. An image of what it will look like out of the box, there's the side, another image of the figure once you've got it out, there is the other side, you just got a Pokeball there, and on the back, we've got a full body image of Ash and Pikachu here, here it says, I am Pallet Town's Ash, or Masara Town's Satoshi as it says on there, and this is my friend Pikachu. And over there on the left we've got a bunch of other figures of what it will look like out of the box. There's the top, there is the bottom, now let's bust this thing open and see what we've got. So finally, there is what the SH Figure Arts Ash Ketchum looks like out of the box. And what can I say, it looks pretty damn good. This is the variant of him from the new movie, but it is essentially just a remake of what the old Ash Ketchum used to look like back in the day. And hey, I have to say, it is pretty damn close. As for articulation, there is the head all the way to the front, all the way back. Some side to side wiggle on there as well, and can that rotate all the way around? Yes, but it feels a little bit awkward. The arm all the way up can spin all the way around, rotation here, rotation here as well, as well as bend in and out. That shirt right there is flexible, the collar is and the collar is fused on in there, but this is flexible, pretty cool. Ab crunch to the front, all the way to the back, rotation here at the waist, rotation here at the waist, leg all the way to the front, all the way to the back, legs all the way out, bend at the knee, foot up and down, side to side, some rotation, and finally the bend at the toe. Just like in that typical Ash Ketchum way for when things get serious, you're able to flip the hat all the way around, so, oh, you want to leave that thing on. But anyway, there it is the other way around. Pretty cool. Alright, so as for accessories, there is the SH Figure Arts Ash Ketchum with everything that he comes with. So first up is Pikachu, who seems to be stuck in that quintessential zombie pose. This might look a little bit awkward while he's standing like that, but it's meant to serve multiple purposes. Things like this, bend up that neck for this, and using this adapter here, he can attach onto Ash's shoulder, just like so. As well as that massive gaping smile, we've also got this serious face. To swap out the faces, off comes the hat, pull off the front of his face, stick on the alternate face like this. Now you've got a choice between the hat and the hair. So if you want to attach the hat, just pull off this little section of hair, pop it in onto this face, and then on with the hat. However, if you want to without the hat, just pop off the hat, pop off the hair, and then stick this hair without the hat onto his head like that. As for hands, we've got two alternate right hands, no alternate left hands. So that is the default set of fists, a pointing right hand, and lastly then, a right hand holding a Pokeball. Finally, there is Ash next to the SH Figure Arts Goku, Figma Saitama, Figma Card Captor Sakura, and lastly, the real grade unicorn. So that is it for the review and what can I say, definitely if you want yourself an old school Ash Ketchum, then this is the figure for you. It looks great, it feels great and the articulation is pretty damn good. On the negative side though, I would have liked to have seen it come with more accessories, maybe some more hands, especially some holding hands, and definitely would have liked to see a stand in there as well. But on the whole, it looks pretty cool. There it is up with some of my collection so you can get an idea of the size, the scale, the shelf presence that this figure has. But as always, thank you very much for watching, leave a like if you'd like to see more content like this. If you want one of these for yourself, then check out that link down there in the description. And as always, make sure to come back for more reviews, and I'll see you next time.